Welcome to the first episode of my Zero Evidence series, where I will be teaching investigators how to detect what the ghost type is with zero evidence. In this particular mode, we also have no sanity, meaning the ghost will hunt almost immediately depending on what type of ghost it is. Bring four incense, a lighter, some salt, motion sensor, parabolic microphone, headset of your choice, firelight, and two crosses. Your first loadout should be able to protect you from the first hunt. Always bring in an incense or hide. Upon entering the house, go ahead and begin checking the floors for the bone. This particular ghost hunted incredibly fast. As I walk into this room, I notice that I cannot flip the light switch. This is a sign that the ghost is currently hunting. Coming from downstairs, I hear faint and slow footsteps. Listen. As I realize what I'm dealing with, I go to test the line of sight. Having successfully escaped and witnessed what this ghost was doing, I knew it was a revenant. Revenants move very slow when they cannot see you, for they do not know where you are. As soon as they see you or can detect electronics on you, they move incredibly fast. At this point, I go down to place a crucifix in the general location in the basement as to hope to cover all three rooms. It's wise to leave behind as many items as you can as to have an empty inventory every time you go back to the truck. For this investigation, I needed a photo of the ghost to detect it with the motion sensor and prevent a hunt with the crucifix. I used my incense, so I knew I needed another. With my incense in hand, it's time to go place down the motion sensor. And she immediately begins hunting. Remembering I needed a photo, I ran back to grab the camera. <laughs> Freezer in place and try to snap a few photos and quickly hide. The hunt ends abruptly, but I failed to capture the photo. For my third loadout, 
I had to replace my used incense. I grab salt to help me slow down the ghost so that I may be able to capture a photo. It still hasn't prevented a hunt with the crucifix. Black salt can be used to slow down the ghost during a hunt, making it useful against faster ghosts. Always be sure to put things away and keep things tidy. This is someone's house. There we go. Alright, now here, we're just waiting for the ghost to hunt in order to capture a photo. Upon returning to the basement, it does a ghost event and absolutely freaks me out. But I managed to capture a successful photo of the ghost this time. So I escape. But then, I also realize I need more photos because I like money. So I go back downstairs to capture a photo of the burned cross. So we hang out down here and check out their air ventilation systems. Looking good. And now I'm just hoping that the ghost tries to hunt me again in order to get another photo of the burning cross. But with little to no activity down here, I begin getting bored. Though you cannot hear it, at this point in the investigation, I was verbally taunting the ghost. And then... I thought that was a hunt for sure, but it wasn't. As soon as I pick up the cross, she decides to try to hunt me. To force her to walk through the salt piles, I lure her with the camera in hand for a moment. After that successful getaway where I wasn't scared at all, I returned to the outside world, realizing, oh yeah, I just got her to step in those salt piles so I could make some money. So then I take photos of the salt piles, but then I also realize we didn't find the bone. didn't find it in this room either. And then finally, I found the bone, grabbed my photo, picked it up, and headed for the truck. Objectives, got some of my photos, and we definitely know the ghost type. Pretty good investigation. And there you have it. That's how you know that you're facing a revenant when you have no evidence. Good luck. Subscribe for more Zero Evidence Guides.